The first look at Samsung's upcoming Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra has been revealed, and it's generating quite a stir. I will explain every design change and share more details on the Watch 7 Ultra, so stick to the end. To find more updates, don't forget to click subscribe and bell icon. This is the first ever look of Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Honestly, when I first saw this device, I was a bit shocked by the latest revelations about the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Contrary to earlier reports suggesting a square display similar to the Apple Watch Ultra, the Watch 7 Ultra will feature a unique blend of round and square elements in its design. This hybrid approach aims to incorporate more features and potentially house a bigger battery. According to the rumors, the display on the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra will still be rounded, but the overall body will have changed significantly. One of the key design updates includes an extra button position between the two usual buttons, resembling an action button. This new button is likely programmable or possibly dedicated to Galaxy AI functions, adding a new layer of functionality. Here's the first look at the Watch 7 Ultra from OnLeaks. Honestly, the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra's dial looks a bit strange at first glance. It's like someone tried to mash up a circle and a square and ended up with this funky hybrid. This unique design blends rounded edges with a more squared off body, creating a distinctive look that sets it apart from previous models and competitors alike. The Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra is noticeably thicker than its predecessor, measuring 167 mm compared to the 10.9 mm thickness of the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. This significant increase in thickness could be good news, as it suggests the possibility of a new and larger battery. A bigger battery would potentially offer more performance compared to the Watch 6 Classic, addressing a common pain point for smartwatch users. Interestingly, despite the changes in design and thickness, the display size of the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra remains similar to that of the Watch 6 Classic at 1.5 inches. This indicates that while Samsung has retained the familiar display size, they have made substantial changes to the watch's body to accommodate new features and enhancements. While the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra could have looked sleeker without a rotating bezel and with more screen real estate, Samsung likely recalled the backlash they faced the last time they removed the rotating dial. They didn't want to risk that again, so we end up with this hybrid of circular and square designs. Regarding the battery of the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra, according to Galaxy Club, the battery has been spotted on Korean certification, showing a capacity of 578 mAh. This is slightly larger than the 573 mAh battery later advertised as 590 EMA in previous models. Expectations are that the Watch 7 Ultra will have a battery capacity either similar to 590 mAh or potentially rated at 600 mAh, making it one of the largest batteries in Galaxy wearables. This can easily beat the Watch 5 Pro in battery life, and even the internal source once claimed so we can expect battery life similar to Watch Ultra or Watch Ultra 2, and in some cases Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra will last even longer than the Apple Watch Ultra, which is a crazy update. Now, the speaker grills on the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra are noticeably bigger than those on previous Galaxy Watch models. This design change could potentially improve sound quality and loudness, offering a better audio experience for calls, notifications, and media playback. However, it's too early to confirm these improvements definitively. If the larger speakers do enhance audio performance, it would be another significant upgrade, adding to the appeal of the Watch 7 Ultra as a feature-rich smartwatch. Apart from battery size, Samsung is going big with the processor of Watch 7 Ultra, and that could make a big impact on the battery life of the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. But before talking about the performance, let me share Samsung going to give us a big update in the processor of Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra, or there are expectations we may see in all Galaxy watches. More specifically, according to the reliable tipster, Roland Quant, Samsung going with the new Exynos W940 processor, which is said to be 50% more efficient and 30% faster than the previous generation chipset. Now, some sources suggest we are going to see a 32 GB of internal storage on Watch 7 Ultra. Now, come toward display, which is already leaked before, but it will also feature one of the best displays possible, minimum 2600 nits of peak brightness, or it can go up to 3000 nits, same as Apple Watch Ultra 2. 
If we talk about the launch date, rumor has it Samsung will hold its unpacked event on July 10th, compared to last year 26th of July for a previous event which could be when the company plans to announce its smartwatch models. Though we could also see Samsung announce them sooner at a smaller event or even release the watches through a press release to speed up their rollout. According to internal source, the Watch 7 Ultra price would be $600 to $700 similar in case of Apple Watch Ultra and the final price will be different in different region. And this $600 to $700 will be in United States. This is a big price jump from Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Yes, last year Galaxy Watch 6 Classic was priced at $430 for the 47mm. This would be a huge step up for Galaxy. That's all for the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. If you find value from this video, give this video thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in next video. Thanks for watching.